All right, so we are on to uh, Spy Fox. Uh, I was going to leave this one to last because I heard it's... No, well, not... This is apparently the last of the worst ones, and then we're on to Putt Putt, but um, yeah, we'll see. Here we go. <laughs> they are indeed humongous. <laughs> that crazy old cat, though. And I, I, the cereal in the background, though, like koala o's that God's milk that gives me strange implications anymore. about koalas Everything is going just as i planned soon the entire world will be without dairy milk no, no. toast no ice cream no, no cheddar cheese and yeah this would kill me because i love dairy nothing can stop me now one of the reasons why i'm fat but also one of the reasons i don't run around murdering people because I am kind of, do kind of need my ass coffee fix. Bye, Fox. So, I, I thought this had potential because the whole thing of it is they spoof, they're spoofing James Bond and um, Would you like our definitely get smart once you hear Spy Fox talking. It gives me hives. Our vegetarian dinner, then? Nope, gives me the vapors. Speaking then of vapors. May I recommend the Greek plate? It's delicious. All right. If you insist. Enjoy. <laughs> I love the implications here. Like, yes, Good the see, fork is a um, ah, is an aerial, penny. Now and Greek a meals come genius. with fortune right. cookies for Yesterday, some reason. Our spy operatives discovered the fact fortune that cookies, of possibly mashed potatoes, possibly tomato sauce, and the also steak. Entire world's remaining milk reserves will be depleted. The idea of eating dry breakfast cereal is pretty hard to swallow. Yes, it is. Here's the only clue we have. Hmm. Feta cheese. <laughs> a low grade, too. Spy operatives took that picture in the office. Willem Dafoe's been Howard spanking it over that lighthouse the again. Third. President and CEO of <laughs> the, Amalgamated Ah, oh, God, I haven't called it Mojus exactly. for a long time. We presume he has valuable information on the dairy crisis. The only available picture of him is hidden in your mashed potatoes. Finding Utterly is your top priority. <laughs> the villain's name is Utterly. What? Found in Utterly's office have been almost look like a panel from a far side comic. Your plane will be flying over the island any minute now. Island I've or this rotting mushroom. Center, where you'll rendezvous with me and later on with Quack. The entrance code is in your fortune cookie. Any questions? No, I'm on my way. Good. Monkey Penny, out. Yeah, because that was definitely a big part of my generation. Like, obviously, I was too young to enjoy Get Smart until we saw it had reruns on, on TV. But the guy from that, Don Adams, eventually went on to be, um, thing, uh, uh Inspector Gadget. In my other tuxedo. Maybe one of my special spy gadgets will help me. Oh, my... I wonder which one I should pick. Oh, oh, I've seen some flash animations that kind of go like this. Let's try this one. This isn't such a safe bet. Oof. Oh, God, this is going to be dad joke central, isn't it? What good is this without helium? <laughs> it's a nice tribute to Watchmen. It's how the comedian went out. I'm in no mood to tickle the ivories now. I wish my brother George were here. Anyway. Hmm. Ah. Oh. This is, this is how we solve the puzzle. Okay. Well, it's always handy to have like a helicopter sitting around. Impressive. You should have seen the one that got away. Oh, hmm. oh. So this Oof. is the sleepy little Greek island of Acidophilus. I seem to have arrived huh. unfashionably early, since nothing. Is that, that's open. one of the. Um, I should meet up with monkey. Acidophilus is one of the things in Yakult, isn't it? One of the good bacteria. If I remember correctly. <laughs> Here is your inventory. Maybe you should check out some of these things. I want to talk to the salty looking pelican though. Hey, want to see my tattoo? <laughs> want to see, see my tattoo? Oh! <laughs> your mother must be so proud. <laughs> that's, that's kind of awesome actually. <laughs> Holy shit. These birds look like heifer from Rocco's Modern Life, though. I just... I could look at these all day. <laughs> Show me your delicious chest, Mr. Pelican. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, keep going. <laughs> keep going. <laughs> Is he, ooh, second moment. 
<laughs> all right there's some effort put into these and i kind of love it oh oh um ban from twitch <laughs> no they're all right they're all furries anyway oh he's like doing the pecs oh my god this is awesome <laughs> <laughs> just yep keep keep it up we've gotten like how many of this have we done so far like 10 there's been at least 10 of these all like properly animated why did people say these were the shit ones though That's filthy bloody lies all right i, sh I should have like put up a I i'll put up a canner in like the um the YouTube video or something just to show how many separate ones we got <laughs> why has that never been an option in like naval sea battles that's awesome um oh we finally got a repeat yeah yeah okay that's that was <laughs> that was awesome though I, I, all right I guess we'll do the um do the thing what's okay there's other places to go what's this involve oh there's a mobile command center ah okay please stand by so can we Re... where are you i'm waiting for you at the mobile command center oh we can of get hints from like monkey penny or something sightseeing. that's all there'll be time for that later now use the spy code and get down here this is serious Huh. <laughs> I love that too. It's like, I need a hint. Fucking play the game, dingus. Um, no, I, I did that with Mighty. I actually watched the, um, the Peter Sellers version of Casino Royale. Um, it wasn't too bad. It, uh, we found some gorgeous women in it. It just, yeah, the chick who played Money Penny was pretty good. And it had, like, I think, yeah, no, that's right. Ursula Andrus was in there somewhere. So, what's this involved? Oh, it's, um... Oh my god, okay. Shoot sandwiches at, uh... This, uh, this is a actual fucking shmup. Okay, wow. I don't want the, um... Oh no. Oh, this was our, uh, like, energy, I guess. What are the power-ups, though? <laughs> no, we don't want to stop. We want to figure out what's going on here. The cool submarine. Kablam! Flam! Biff! Yeah, this is kind of cool. And, like, generous for the kids. This is, we seem to have at least four lives. Oh, we have to surface because we... Oh. Well, we meant to go... Oh, it was telling me don't run into the fucking landmass. Okay. Well, we weren't doing that anyway, because we were down at, we were under the sea. Oh my god, alright, no, this is tricky. Also, shit, weird trying to play this with, um, thing, um, mouse controls. Anyway, uh, let's, let's look at L. Five, 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 two, two, nine, zero. How oh. fortunate that Monkey Penny gave me this entrance code. Alright, I guess we can, oh. The door's locked. Ah. Can't go to the cantina, unfortunately. I guess the cantina doesn't serve breakfast. Well, I have to say that's the first time I've ever been grateful I ate the airplane meal. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, here we go. Here, we go. I I can't even remember what the uh, code was. What does it say? Five 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 two two nine zero. Two two nine zero. Okay. So five 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 two two nine zero. Hello, Spy Corps Mobile Command Center. Penny, I've got That's how you number. start the secret spy call, though. It's how you introduce yourself. Uh, these guys, these are terrible spies. Now that's a person-to-person -person phone call. Glad you could drop in, Spy Fox. Hello, Monkey. That's Monkey Penny. 
So what do you think of Skycorp's new Greek Island Mobile Command Center? Impressive. Disguising it as a half-buried boat in the middle of the town square was a stroke of genius. Nobody would ever notice that. That was Professor Quack's idea. Where is Quack? Oh, he'll be here soon to refill the spy gadget vending machine. In the meantime, he sent a couple of things ahead. Oh, the yeah. The, apparently, that's because a running the thing in these games. A gadget is like a shopping cart Just the gadget a vending wheel. machine. How apt. Now, pay attention. This is Greek money. It's called drachma. You may need to buy a few things around here on the island. <laughs> this, this is Greek and money. This is a, a toothbrush, <laughs> and I sure could use one after that airplane meal. Don't <laughs> Give me kebab. Mouth. It's not a regular toothbrush. It's a special. Yeah, I've I've got no idea what drachma look like. You hold the it's weird too because I've apply the minty fresh laser gel, I've met a few Greek button, people here, and Melbourne is apparently most supposed to be the. Um, I guess that's it's supposed to have the Kevin. second highest so, Greek population in the world next to Athens. I don't know. It's probably because I don't follow soccer. I want to check out that feta factory down by the docks. Feta factory, huh? I thought I smelled something suspicious. Well, there's nothing wrong with feta. It's tangy, sure. All right, so we have a laser cutting tool. We have drachma. Do we get limited? Okay, so these are meant to be our Here's gadgets. Where I keep my spy gadgets. Okay, this would be what conversations. Here's where my notes go. I use the talk balloons to gather information. Oh, any more info on that spy box? No. It's a photograph of Mr. Utterly. It, it, can we? No, you want to show me that sweet cow booby? No, okay. It's drachmas, Greek money. Okay. All right. Um. So yeah, that's the other thing on this as well. This seems to play like a traditional adventure game. It's not like the. Oh no, there's actual. Okay, I wasn't expecting proper hotspots in this, but here we go. There we go. Guess it wouldn't be a humongous game without them. What the fuck just happened there? <laughs> oh, it's that cat koala thing. He's sad. He does not have milk for his cereal. Okay. I also like that this is, yeah, this is like just a crashed ship on its side. Come back when Professor Quack's here. But it, oh. My spy watch is beeping. Spy okay. Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox here. Hi, Spy Fox. Remember, you can call me via your spy watch anytime for help and information. Just press the mobile command button. Will do. Spy Fox, out. Okay. Hmm. I wonder what time it is. A clock is the one thing Professor Quack forgot to include in my spy watch. Yes. All right, so I guess we can't go to the cantina. It'd be nice to know what time happy hour is at the actual cantina itself. Mm -hmm. Oh, the volcano doesn't erupt, though. Ooh. <laughs> Secret helicopters. Yeah, righto. Mmm. Mysterious figures, you say. Oh, wow, well, we are just getting spied on hard, aren't we? Uh, nothing in the... Uh, right eye. Hmm. Maybe it's like some of the Greek water fountain. You should be able to tell time using this, though. Oh no, just looks like out. it's closed. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's closed. I'll jump over and steal some shit. You're you're an adventure game character, dude. You gotta steal everything that's not nailed down. All right. Oh, someone took a chunk out of this uh, pier, though. <laughs> Probably these fuckers. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not what you want in the pier, that's for sure. Alright, well, we'll check out... Oh, the Nog Feta Factory. Yeah, that's appropriate. Considering the next game does feature a character from hmm. Star Trek D and Deep Space OG. Nine. If I'm not mistaken, and I rarely am, that stands for Nectar of the Goats, a world-renowned purveyor of goat milk and goat byproducts. Huh, I okay. I haven't seen a town this deserted since the evil Professor Lumpenstein started that wart epidemic in Lima, Peru. Wart ep- uh, okay. Oh, that's all that comes out of there? Oh, can we- hang on, can we- Oh, it doesn't go anywhere near the, uh, thing. 
No, we didn't want well, to click on the fish twice. Just in case there was one of those, like, staggered hotspots. Let's go back there. I'm presuming we use our um, laser toothbrush on the uh, the door here. Let's give that a try. Here's where I keep my... Right. Crack. Is the toothpaste really necessary? Oh, it's... Uh, no idea how that works. It's a blowtorch and then it's a laser? Really? The laser toothbrush makes impervious steel doors pervious. Okay. And have we used that up? Do we use it later? No, we have apparently used it up. Okay. Was that also necessary? Now um. that's a big side of beef. <laughs> no that's yes, Arderley, I recognize this ass. over a pool of piranha. Now the question is, how am I going to get his rump roast down from there? <sighs> um, can we? <laughs> He's Don't worry, Mr. Unhappy Arderley. about being Your up rescue there. Rescue is only moments away. I am a trained professional. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. So I'm presuming I have to like freeze the piranha in the thing and then winch hmm, him down. This must be the temperature control for this pool of piranhas. Kind of an odd fixture for a feta cheese factory. Yeah, it really is. The piranha pool seems to be getting colder. And Leon's getting larger. Oh, let's, let's boil him. Let's that see what happens if we boil him. Just keep, keep fucking tapping it till you get to the red, mate. <laughs> they yeah, they're a little bit. It, I was kind of hoping to boil them, but they're just really. Um, will help me get Mr. Rudderly's rump roast down from there. Yeah, they're just <laughs> panting for some reason. Uh -huh. <laughs> I wonder if this is how they make beef jerky. Oh, that's that's terrible. All right, and. Yeah, th yeah, that's right. Pajama Sam used to leap around a fair bit too, didn't he? Alright, I guess we freeze him. Just, just hold the button in for Spy Fox, for fuck's the sake. Beasties seem to be slowing down. Alright. Max. Oh, I was kind of hoping we'd freeze it, but anyway. Hmm, yeah, there we go. Fish on ice. That should help him. Now for Mr. Utterly. Alright, go save Mr. Utterly. Just the flips, though. <laughs> just anything walking on their buttocks is just hilarious to me. What, what was with that piranha, though? You saved me. Thank you, Mr. Um. Fox. Spy Fox. Routine rescue, really? Now I need to get you to our mobile command center for a debriefing. Good. I need to change my pants. <laughs> You've got to stop him, Mr. Fox! All right, just calm down, Mr. Utterly. Why don't you start from the beginning and tell us what happened? Well, it all started as a typical day at the office. When oh, God, I hope he's... I oh, no, male cow, presumably. He's indeed a bull, so therefore can't produce feta yep. cheese. You have to stay pretty sharp in the dairy biz. I don't know, maybe he left that lump of feta cheese that we saw before. There were dozens of them. I fought them hoof and nail. Pow, 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 I did. My whole body is a weapon. Then suddenly, I smelled something revolting. It could only be one thing. Feta cheese. cheese. Is that also the pubes in the so feta cheese? That I nearly passed out. Taking advantage of my momentary asphyxiation, kidnappers jumped me and then forced me into a smelly dark bag. They whisked me away to Kid's Secret Island Fortress. The fuck has a bag with beef written on it, it though? It was just so humiliating being bagged up like a... Like a piece of beef. But were you able to learn anything about what William the Kid is? Yeah, like, well, it's fair enough. Like, oh, ingenuity in my part, yeah, back in the day in Australia, they up. used to keep Kids to food in like a giant canvas bag. And that's where Tucker Bag comes from. That's, yeah, it's like the whole waltzing Matilda thing, I suppose. Right? You put the drum buck in the Tucker Bag. Capture all the dairy cows in the world. As you know, he's already done that. 
Second, he built that milky weapon of destruction inside his secret fortress. Third, used this milky weapon of destruction to flood the capital with none too fresh dairy milk. Fourth, frame all the poor dairy cows <laughs> for their famous crimes. Fifth, take over Who the, the fuck entire wrote airport. this plan? Is this like. Someone needs to find that secret. Is this from Ozzy Man Deus from Watchmen or? Destruction. It's kind of hmm. up there though, That's isn't challenging. it? I need to find uh, yeah, a a fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Oh, I did that too, like I'm just under pressed, I need a sugar fix. I'm gonna go get some um, get some sweets. Off. Good going. Where is it? Uh well I had to swallow the code before I could read it so it wouldn't be discovered. Can you believe it? I find the whole thing a little hard to swallow. We need to figure out a way to get a look at that code. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and stop William the Kid. Oh. Well, don't want to say hello to us or anything, Professor Good Clark? Good morning, Spy Fox. Oh, thank I took you. the liberty of loading the vending machine with some of my ingenious new spy gadgets. You should take a look at some of them, Spy Fox. They may come in handy. Oh, we can't. Oh, we can flip the lever. Oh, not that. Oh, it's is it not the torpedo launcher? Oh no. So exactly how long does the average cow's digestive system take to process food? You mean the? Uh, well, that would be opening up a really messy topic of discussion. <laughs> Can't click on the phone though. Hey, according to Spycore's database, William the Kid has three overdue library books. I always suspected Kid had some latent criminal tendencies. <laughs> hey, according to Spycore's database, William the Kid has three overdue library books. Hey, don't have to repeat yourself, Monkey Penny. Had some latent criminal tendencies. All right, well, show us the gadgets. Mm. Oh, we can't unlock any of these yet. Mmm, it looks like a delicious snack. May I eat this, Professor Quack? Okay, that's the cheese and safe cracker kit. Oh. It will help oh, we're getting you to the run there. Almost okay. Any safe in the world. I won't explain exactly how it works because it's very scientific and complicated. <laughs> Trust me when I say it works like Here's a It's a gadget. Dog. I don't really and I can't explain how it works. I don't really know. Yeah, and this paper isn't half bad. Yeah, okay. What else is what else is on the gadgets list? Is this coin really a spy gadget, Professor Quack? Ah, that's the spy trap. Let me explain how it works. It looks like an ordinary coin, like you might find in the street. But if you need to trap three or more bad guys, the coin explodes and a net shoots out. It traps the naughty spy enemies. Nice, huh? Heads I win, tails they lose. <laughs> Look I'm going to lose my appetite if I keep this up. Yeah, I want to. I want to see you print out another page for this and give me the explanation again. This is no ordinary coin, is it? Yep, you're doing it again. Oh, yeah. No, that's the spy trap. You toss it on the ground, and it will trap three or more bad guys. If you want to capture some creeps, the spy trap is a coin that makes a lot of sense. Oh, I just got. <laughs> makes a lot of sense. Your tongue is the worst. Oof. All right. That's one of those spy traps. Grab one of them. I seem useful. I vaguely remember this is one of the running things for totally spies as well. Like, no, that's right. They always got like three or four gadgets, and they used every single one of those gadgets in the show in the episode. If I remember correctly. I shouldn't know. I used to. I only watched that show for the fan service. Gum. How does this work, Professor Quack? Oh, that's my new and improved beef flavor X ray gum. I'll explain how it works. You take a stick out, put it up against something beefy, move it around, and then you can see the yucky stuff inside. The best part of all is, when you're done, you can chew the gum. 
It actually has a very refreshing, beefy flavor. You know, four out of five dentists prefer X-ray gum for their patients who need X-ray. Can I just can I just say that as well? Like, <clears throat> this is I now the second game I've come across that has beef flavored gum. Please make this a thing. Like, Curse of Monkey Island did it first, as far as I know. Now we got this one. Just someone gun. get on. I don't care if it's like, you know, that kind of dried out beef jerky flavor either. Like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, the the one in Curse of Monkey Island was, was it Bitto, Bitto Jerky Bubblegum. Just fucking get on it. Someone, someone make this. What's in this egg shaped container, container, Professor Quack? This is a little gadget I call the Spy Putty. Yeah, even just like savory bubblegum would be a nice change. Is open the cute little egg as much as I love peppermint. Spread the putty on whatever case you want point. to make a copy of. Press down and then peel know, the like putty off. I don't know, like cheese you flavor? Have a perfect copy. Hmm, that looks rather silly. I know what you're thinking. You think that the Spy Putty looks a lot like that silly stuff they sell in toy stores. What you don't know is that I thought of it first. <laughs> I just couldn't get the pattern. Those right. duplicitous duplicators stole my idea. All right, well, I guess we'll have that as well. My putty. All right, there we go. Seems like we're nearly, I think we cleaned about on gadgets. Oh, no, I'm it not. Appears got to a, be a, got a shoe. shoe as well. What is this gadget, Professor Quack? Oh, that's the night vision shoe. One of my most what? ingenious inventions. If you happen to find yourself in a dark place, all you do is strap the shoe onto your You head, may find yourself living in a shotgun jack. In the dark. How you may find yourself in another part of the world. Yes, and it has excellent arch support. Hmm. That's okay. the night vision shoe. Alright, and that was it for gadgets? Well, I can't fit any more in there now. Let's have a look. Oh no, we got that safe stuff too. Alright, well, we'll use the x-ray gum on boy. Here's where I Get this code now, and then grab mind, the safe Rudley, thing. I'm going to need to use this x-ray gum to take a look at those four stomachs of yours. This isn't going to hurt, is it? Because I get kind of dizzy when I think about pain. In fact, just saying the word pain makes me want to... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Quack, your x-ray gum works perfectly. I can see everything inside Mr. Utterly's gut. Billy, how'd you get in there? Um, alright, so there's a code in... What do we got a watch? Some sort of thing about device. Ugh, band-aid though. Uh, and with this one stomach, pen. Uh, pencil. Sloppy Joe's. Oh, oh, it's like the, um, the diagrams that show you all the different if cuts of beef. Me, I would retch. Yeah. Uh. His ticker looks like it needs winding. That's a paper airplane? Okay. Uh, spaghetti. Oh yeah, meat life. Oh, rip meat life. By the way, I forgot to mention he passed away uh, last week. I think. Stick, Ross, tape player. I found the note. Once I find that key, oh, just I can some code. That control panel it goes into. Then William the Kid's milky weapon of destruction will be disarmed. Um. Okay. That's all we have to do. Okay. <laughs> Poor cowboy. Do we? Do we keep that code as a note though? Like, because we don't need the gum anymore. Here's where I nah, keep my okay. spy gadget. Um. Here. No, you don't want to give me that. Don't want to actually make an actual note. Oh. Well. I only carry four spy gadgets at a time. I guess I can put one of mine back. Yeah. All right. Well, let's put the um X-ray thing back. Oh no, hang on. We... Oh, this is annoying having the hover over thing. Actually, we just give it back to Excuse the doctor. Excuse me, professor, but could you explain this X-ray? No, gun don't gun? do that. Don't. Oh crap. Yeah, good. Let's let's. Um, I forgot it's escape to skip. 
just put it back in the machine? I think I'll just return this spot. Yeah, there we go. We just had to put it back in the hole. Get it again later. Okay. It kind of defeats the purpose of a vending machine, though. Right. No. Oh, we actually have like five, don't we? Well, let's take the um. The now, safe cracker thing. No, 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 don't explain it. Just give it to me. Cheese and safe cracker. Cheese and safe cracker. That's what. Yeah. Okay. Right. So hopefully we've got enough items to help get us through. Because I'm a little tired of this area. We have been here for a while. Oh, here's the uh, the trinkets guy. Let's, let's have a look at them. Welcome to the Trinket Emporium. My name is Gilbert. How may I be of service to you, O oh, honorable visitor, to this, our dear island home? I'm not sure yet. I was just noticing your fine selection of trinkets. Sir, I think that you will find we offer much more than mere trinkets. We pride ourselves in having the island's finest selection of rare and hard-to-find collector items and antiquities. Excellent. One never knows when they will be struck with an unquenchable desire to indulge in a blatant act of bourgeois consumerism. Our thoughts exactly, sir. Wait a minute. Is that a genuine Teddy Roosevelt teddy bear? Circa 1902? Yes, they are very rare. It may even be on the endangered antiquities list. How much is that cute stuffed kitty you have there? It is a little expensive, sir. But I would be happy to throw in some free stuffed kitty litter. Wait just one moment. Could that possibly be the ship's steering wheel from the Titanic? I have a sinking suspicion it might be. Sir. I'm sorry, I had to mute for a sec. I ate, I ate some freckles and they're very crunchy. I like the jar of trinkets, but I'm wondering if you have them in cans. It's uncanny that you would ask me that, because just this morning I ordered some. Unfortunately, they won't be here till next week. Okay, so we'll come back to this guy because we obviously don't know what trinkets we we need. Let's see if the canteen is open. It certainly is. Hmm. Hi, honey. Welcome to the cantina. I'm Bee Bear. If there's anything I can get you, sugar, like for example, sugar, you just let me know. All right. Thanks, Bee. Alright. Um, I actually need to go for a pee. I'll be back in two seconds. What's the story with the gravity-challenged card player over there? Oh, honey, watch out for him. Oh, that's, that's a piece we PC way of saying a fatty. Gravity-challenged. The only thing he ever loses is his temper. Hmm. Oh, yeah. How's business been since the milk shortage began? It's been difficult for some of the customers to wean themselves away, but I have a high lactose intolerance, so it hasn't really affected me. Hmm. Okay. Secret sauce may cause drowsiness in alligators. Hmm. Okay. Beat Blitz. <laughs> it smells, it smells funny. funny. Sure it does. Okay. Um. This appears to be an alligator over here. Let's talk to this gecko thing. Here's a number thing, that though. goes out to all you white tux wearing spies. Yeah. Here's a number that goes out to all you white. Oh, this tux has just been that spies. song this whole time. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, go little mouse. Was there more in there though? <laughs> Yeah, what's in the disco balls? Way more entertaining than this blizzard. Oh. Saturday's special. Yeah, what's, what's the... the special of the day, B? Saturday is Baba Ganoush Day. What's, what's Baba, Baba Ganoush? Ganoush? It's a traditional Middle Eastern dish. People are gonna go away hungry if all you give them is a traditional plate. Okay. Chicken knuckles to go. Those look interesting. Honey. They're so bad. We're required by law to serve them to go. After you eat some, you have to go. If you know what I mean. Oh, oh, that's... Well, that seems illegal. It usually, um, that only happens with contaminated food. I didn't know anyway. chickens have knuckles, B. You've obviously never been hit square in the jaw by a ticked-off chicken from Kentucky. <laughs> okay. Interesting little pun. Reaching. Interested in a little game of go fish, Mr. Fox. Spy Fox. I've been known to play go fish from time to time. And you are? Artemis J. Big Pig. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. 
What do you say we make this game a little more interesting? Would you care to play for some trinkets? I'm afraid I don't have anything I would call a trinket. How unfortunate. Why don't you come back when you have some trinkets to play with? Hmm, oh. It makes the game so much more interesting. Okay, I don't know what we need specifically though, but yeah, good to know we can do something with the trinkets. Okay. Well, come back there. I just, I want to check upstairs here first. Might be something interesting. The door's locked. Oh. Okay, guess we can't go there yet. Um, I actually want to check out that polar bear thing again, because um, I'm just wondering if it is a reference to Orson Welles as Le Chiffre in that um, Peter Sellers Casino Royale I watched the other day. Interesting. Is that an entire jar of trinkets? Yes, my Aunt Elisa pickles them every September. Right, well, let's see if we can buy something. So, what's a jar of trinkets going for these days? Uh, normally, sir, they're 20 drachmas, but for you, how about 50? Sounds good to me. I'll take it. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Do we even... Oh, no, there so you go, that sir. normal, Why, you know, adventure you. game trope, you usually have infinite money for the purposes of the story, I guess. Alright. Yeah, just like Curse of Monkey Island, you had an infinite amount of, um, bubblegum. Hmm, okay. That door is still locked. And also an infinite jar, uh, infinite bag of wooden nickels as well. Even though that was, you only used it to get the gum, if I remember correctly. I win! <laughs> oh. That's right. You never lose. There's a first time for everything, Mr. Big Pig. Oh, that was it? I, we don't get to have any... Huh. Okay. I was hoping that it'd at least get me something for winning. Um, let's ask for hints. Please stand by. And I'm definitely cutting that whole thing out, because that was, that was Nothing annoying. To report yet. This island sure has a lot of lively characters on it. Everyone's so animated. Hmm, I wonder why. Oh, by the way, our informant, Mata Harry, suggested that you try to get on the ship. It might be important. Oh, okay. Well, let's try that then. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, oh, okay. Hmm. Lots of interesting characters to Excuse talk to. me, are you the owner of this boat? I'm James T. Drydock, captain of the SS Winterprise. Pleased to meet you. Oh, no. My name's Fox. Spy Fox. Is this rickety old boat of yours seaworthy? 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 Of course she's seaworthy. The question is not whether she's seaworthy, maybe, but rather whether you're worthy of the sea. I see. Huh. Oops. That sure is an old boat you've got there. Aye. The SS Winterprise and I have gone through it all together. Hurricanes, whirlpools, giant squid, and even a nasty tax audit. But through it all, she's always been like a mother to me, but without the guilt. Well. That's quite a nice little toy boat you got there. Is it yours? Oh, yes, sir. And that is why I'm standing out here at this podium on this filthy seagull stained dock talking to a sophisticated wannabe like you. So it's not your boat? No. It belongs to my boss. Oh, tell me who the boss is. Can I go Pardon on? me, sir, but just where do you think you're going? On board. Sir, you are obviously making a little joke. No one but no one is allowed to go on board the SS Deadweight without a gold-edged, wax-sealed, expensively embossed, handwritten invitation. And do you have one of these, sir? Not as such. Then I'm afraid, sir, that you should make like a plane in the Bermuda Triangle and get lost. Hmm. Hmm. I can gather information about the deck party with Oh, uh, okay, so I can talk to the, um, the Orson Welles knockoff. Okay. Right, let's see if we can... Maybe we can play him for the invitation, I guess. Um, alright, so we'll go over there. Would you care to play with some trinkets? Place your trinkets on the table and we'll get started. Um... Right. Let's play again. I want to see if I can get the upper ham on you this time. Hmm. Upper ham, oh my Very god. Amusing, Mr. Fox. Right. 
Well, talk to me now about... Now I can talk to Mr. Big Pig about some of the folks I've met on the island. Just hang on. No, does this come out? Yeah, there we go. Tell me about the weasel over at the SS Deadweight. You tread on dangerous ground, little fox. That spy fox. I recommend steering clear of those nectar of the goats gatherings. The guest list is exclusive for a good reason. Hmm. I suspect that my arch nemesis, William the Kid, must be involved. Oh, that's that's all we could get. I okay. hate to leave such a challenging opponent, but I have some bigger fish to catch oh. right now. Do you I mind if could I get that jar of trinkets? tiny little piece of toast. If I can win that off in my play. Um, okay, so I just guess I just ask around about the weasel. What's with the weasel over by the SS Deadweight? He won't let me go to the deck party. Oh, honey, you won't get in the door without an exclusive invitation. Funny, though, the rabbit out at the souvenir stand always gets invited to those swank parties. Oh, really? I'll mm. remember that. Okay, we'll go ask him about it. Alright, um... Crickets... Ask about Weasel. I noticed that there was a party going on down on that big ship at the docks. But I understand you can only go if you were invited. That is true. In fact, I am going as soon as I get off work. Oh, so you got an invitation. I certainly did. It is really a fancy schmancy mm. one, too. Would All right, you like to look at right. it? Why, yes. I would love to look at it. Here's where I keep my spy. I can't copy the invitation while he's looking right at me, so maybe I can do something to distract him. That's not going to do me any good. Hmm. How can I be sure that all these trinkets you're selling are real? Sir, we at the Trinket Emporium unconditionally guarantee the veracity and reality of every item we sell here. If you find that anything you have purchased... That is a really loud mic, though. ...an illusion, or in any way sprinkles unreal, crunching. please return it to us immediately, and we will give you a complete, no questions asked, refund. Oh, huh. okay. This particular bear was once held by the next door neighbor of the cousin of the daughter of the secretary to the ambassador of President Teddy Roosevelt himself. Really? That's quite a heritage to bear. <laughs> Why the watermelon, though? Okay. That's such an intelligent looking fish. It obviously swam in the best school. You obviously have good taste in fish, sir. Although, I would not advise tasting this particular one. What's nice about these hats is that if you tilt the top up, they give some little rectangular candies mm, which sorry. taste a little like soap. I think you've gotten a fez mixed up with something that sounds quite similar. Oh, a way of getting around, um, you know, naming the actual some product. I trivia about sailors' hats. That must have been a fascinating experience for you. Hmm. Could you tell me a little about those pennants? Yes, those were actual pennants weighed by Emperor Theodosius himself at the 393 AD Olympics. Hmm, okay. I'm so impressed that you got an invitation to this fancy deck party. Will you be wearing your tuxedo? No, I have chosen one of my finest all-cotton t-shirts to wear. One that will show off my impressive pectoral muscles. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. It says trinkets. All right, so how do I um how do I distract him? Here. Do you think it would be okay if I borrowed your invitation? Of course not. This was sent to me and me alone. Let's see, mm, I just. I'd love to take your money, sir, but wouldn't you like to buy something? Of course. Oh, maybe I'd buy something else. I'd like to purchase that fine send... stuffed kitty. All right, I'll get it for you. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Ah. All right. Ah. Oh, he's just too short to get up there. Okay. Cool. We have a uh, have our own oh, invitation. Forget it. I can't sell you that cat. It's still alive. Meow. Did you hear that? Meow. There it was again. Is this like, is that meant to be the kids version of the dead parrot sketch? Anyway. 
we have our invitation. Let's get on the boat. Mm. I've also been doing that. I've been watching a little bit of uh, Hornblower. Not as good as um, Thingo. Um, Sharp. It's probably a slower burn. It's probably more. Times do I have to tell you? This yeah, I don't know. I don't know yet. I've got to watch both of them. You are not allowed to go on board. Sheesh! The mirror of some people. You'd think they would. Yes! <laughs> Gently rub Let this in your face. It. Signed, Russian Blue. Oh, sir. We are ever so honored to have you on board with us today. Please, feel free to come and go as you wish. Why, thank you. How gracious of you. What a weasel. <laughs> I trust you will have an enjoyable visit. And if there is any way in which I can kiss up some more, sir, I'm sure I both more minties. But of course. Oh, no, I'll go quite fast. So, this is the deck party. Before I join the festivities, I should let Monkey Penny know I'm here. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. <laughs> can you <laughs> see your mom alive. or something? Hi, Spy yeah. Fox. How's the mission progressing? I just made it onto the SS Deadweight. I'm going to take a look around. Good. Keep your eyes peeled for clues as to where William the Kid's secret fortress is. If Kid's fortress is so secret, how come we know about it? We're spies, Spy Fox. It's our job to know. And we are good at our jobs. Spy Fox out. <laughs> well, yeah, if I were a um, James Bond XBO, I'd be immediately trying to chat up the hot ladies. Hello. You must be Russian Blue, noted the socialite and attractive owner of the SS Deadly. The name oh, is Fox. Boat. Okay. Spy Fox. All the more reason to try and hook up with them. Oh, you know the Fox, you. As if I'd reveal my business secrets to you. Secrets, eh? You're very elusive, Miss Blue. Of course I'm elusive. I'm a shrewd business feline. Let's just say. My business is international free. Okay, but you stir my what? curiosity. What sort of cargo does the SS Deadweight carry? That's for me to know, Mr. Fox. As you can see, the SS Deadweight is a luxury liner. Let me luxuriate in peace. I understand. Hmm, okay. Uh. I can gather information about Russian Blue with this. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, I actually can't talk to Mind anyone if I else. join you, Ms. Blue? The Mediterranean looks especially inviting today, doesn't it? As always, it's nice that you enjoy the decadence of the SS Deadweight as much as I do, Spy Fox. I should introduce you to my personal masseuse. Hmm. Okay. Um... Hello, I want to compliment you on your band. You sure know how to liven up a party. You play with such a passionato. Thank you, sir. It's always nice when one of the guests is a fellow music lover. I hope you will enjoy the party. <clears throat> oh, maybe I can... When he's not looking, I might be able to change the tune on him. Do conductors have a favorite vegetable? Well, I've always liked a good beat. <laughs> they are getting me something shocking in this game. Holy shit. Hang on. Dear oh dear oh dear. Anyway. Oh, I actually wanted some punch though. That's that, that ain't cool. Anyway, um so we can go in here and here. Let's let's go up to the you know, up to the bridge. Hello, sir. Pardon me. I'm looking for the restroom. This is the bridge. The head's down below. Actually, I need to go pretty bad, too. But of course, I'm not allowed to leave my post. The shift's over at one whistle, a horse whinny, and a toaster. Then my replacement shows up. Oh, well, hang on tight. I'm sure your relief will come soon, one way or another. I can gather information about the Sailor Watchman on the SS Deadweight with this. Okay, so I guess we got to play some sort of tune to indicate his shifts over. Hmm. I wonder if there's a place on the island that serves good pancakes. 
But Bob Ganoush has got flatbread. That's like a pancake. Oh, we win some mad cash from the bridge. Apparently not. Oh, okay. Oh, I nearly had it. But I'm not wasting my drachma on this though. Yeah, okay, okay. I oh, can't, I usually get cherries by now. Okay, see, this is why I don't gamble. I always fucking lose. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like I was playing God Hand the other day and I got a heap of, heap of stuff. Oh, it didn't even do anything. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what am I up to? Hey, that's confidential. You're not supposed to be looking at that. Oh, of course. I'm sorry. I would never dream of doing anything like spying. <laughs> I sure wish my shift would end so I could get out of here. I should have never drunk those 17 bottles of prune pop. Yes. <laughs> it's probably a good, good idea for life in general. Just dial it back on prune juice. Okay. No, did, did he, he said prune pop, so I'm presuming it's like some sort of ice cream. Alright, so this is obviously the, um... Why is it saying it's the 2nd of Jan... Huh. January 2nd. I was thinking that was the, like... I, I don't know if that's meant to be the actual time or not. Because it would be going off... I don't know if ScumVM's got like an internal clock or anything. I don't think it does. But, um. So, what's, uh, what can we change in here? Oh. Huh. Ah. Now that's a oh. frog suit. Ideal for any amphibious occasion. Oh, can we, like, take it to disguise ourselves as the. Yeah, a okay. A frog suit like this might come in handy, especially considering the worldwide dairy crisis at hand. Hmm. Okay. Um, so we've got to work out how the... So what do you say the... I wonder what this gadget does. It looks like something Quack would come up with. Timekeeper? Timekeeper. Uh, yeah, I might actually go back and ask uh, when his shift changes. We obviously have to put the time in there. Um, maybe just ask around about other the peoples. What's with that sailor on the bridge? Why is he so serious about guarding the SS Deadway? He's a strange lad, all right. He only seems to care about making it to happy hour on time. He makes me nervous. Why is that? I thought he was going to bite my head off once when I tried to look at the maps on the bridge. It's top secret stuff, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess we got to find out when it's shift changes again. So, your shift ends at one whistle, a horse whinny, and a toaster? That's kind of an odd signal, isn't it? You know how this fancy modern technology works. They like to keep us peons in the dark. Hmm. Okay. One whistle, horse whinny, and something. It doesn't... I don't know where we can actually change that, though. Presumed it was in here somewhere. Let's just hit the shift change button and see what it does. This must be an audio alarm clock. I wonder if there's a snooze button. Mm, that didn't change anything. Okay. That's January nothing. 2nd. Uh, maybe some hints. Please stand by. Hi, Spy Fox. Have you found William the Kid's secret fortress yet? Not yet. Have you been able to find any more clues on the Spy Core <laughs> computer? Not yet. Let's keep snooping around. I'm sure we'll find something. Oh, I was kind of hoping we'd get a, um, a hit with that. Um, I'll keep my extraordinarily sharp eyes open for clues so I can find Kid's secret fortress. Yeah, maybe if I just... 
Ask, um... I don't know. Just... It's how you do things, just talk to people, I suppose. What's with that guy on the bridge? Why is he so serious about guarding the SS Deadway? Darling Fox, maybe you don't understand that I am an international business feline. My deals are not always made, shall we say, in a single location. I see. The SS Deadweight makes clandestine journeys from the island. Very interesting. I never said that, regardless of whether or not it's true. Hmm. Okay. Let me talk to the other guys about the, um, the, wheeze, the frog thing. What do you know about the sailor up there on the bridge of the SS Deadweight? He's a persnickety one. All right. I recall seeing him in the cantina. Uh, the cantina. <laughs> the horror of the cantina. I didn't realize you're so touchy. Okay. So maybe there's a clue at the cantina. Oh, I could probably ask. Do you have any tattoos of the frog guy? I don't know anything about that. But do you want to see my tattoo? Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, this has genuinely been the highlight of of Spy Fox so far. That's for damn sure. Um, here's yeah. where my. What do you know about this sailor from the SS Deadway? Oh, that Sal comes in every day straight from war. What time is that? He shows up here 17 minutes after the start of happy hour. Oh, yeah. 17 minutes after the start of happy hour, which would be 11.17. Okay. Well, we'll, um... Oh, so is that the point of the clock? Um... Just... Okay. We'll try that, then. I'll just watch your way on. I really want to change up that music, though. I don't know if the game's going to let me, um, do that. All right, Interesting. So, uh, this seems to be some sort of a high-tech alarm clock. This could be helpful. After all, they say timing is everything. Alright. Eleven... Ooh. Seventeen. Let's try that. Oh, and it just plays that's the noises. The okay. The sailor told me indicates the end of his shift. Well, that's good. That's I, I was kind of overthinking that puzzle. Like, I'm sitting there going, well, how is someone going to make these noises to indicate a shift change? Oh, maybe I have to um, put the that's frog suit on. That's not going to do me any good. Didn't you hear the clock? What are you still doing here? I know. I heard it. I could leave now if only my replacement was here. Unless you're the guy. Uh, yes. As a matter of fact, I am your replacement. Consider yourself replaced. How can you be my relief if you're not wearing a sailor hat? Right. What was oh. I thinking? Okay, okay. So I'll give you a sailor hat then. Alright, I uh, did see one at the uh, trinket section. I gotta admit that, that, yeah, like, the puzzles aren't super great, but it's cool that they're having this much uh, interactivity sort of stuff. Yeah, th this sort of stuff in such a compressed area. Like, there's only four or five areas here. Let's buy this uh, sailor hat, there's shall we? There's no telling when I might need one of these hats. You better give me 40 of them. 40? But I only have one left. All right, I'll take one of them. Good. I hope you and your little hat will be happy together. <laughs> have a nice day. Hmm. Okay. Beautiful. We have a we have a cell hat. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, tell me I can go on the boat now. Just go back and check that for a second. I wanna see what's on um text boat. So, Captain, do you think you could take me out for a little boat ride? I'd love to, but there's just one problem. I can't go anywhere without my lucky charm. Your lucky charm? Aye, matey. <coughs> because that there is the sea, the final frontier. And my voyages on the SS Winterprise on a 25-year mission 
to seek out new sea life and new civilizations, I boldly went where no raccoon has gone before. But without my lucky charm, it would be way too risky. I can't chance it. Yeah, so what's his lucky charm then? I can gather information oh, we can about find Captain out about Drydock and his lucky charm with this. Okay, fair enough. Alright, we'll go ask around. Just go solve this puzzle first. Mm -hmm. Alright, and put my hat on. Uh. Okay, you can go now. Thank you. Out of my way. Coming through. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Yeah, I just realized it's just now gonna go and take a massive fizzy piss at the uh, cantina. That's curious. The SS Deadweight made an unscheduled stop out in the middle of the ocean. This particular spot could require some further investigation. Let's see. It looks like the SS Deadweight went to 25 degrees latitude, 10 degrees longitude. Okay, I gotta remember that, I suppose. 25 degrees latitude, 10 degrees longitude. Yep. Right, but we can't go out until we get the captain his lucky charm, I guess. Hmm. What, what, what does the... Oh, the button does nothing? Okay. <laughs> that poor guy's got a really boring job then. Boring and, you know, meaningless job. Okay, um... We'll ask about the, uh, just ask people about the... See, Captain. Captain Drydock is quite upset about having lost that lucky charm of his. These things happen when one tempts fate. What do you mean by tempting fate? I mean that only a fool would enter into a deal with Mr. Big Pig, the local mud baron, even if it appears to be a friendly game of go Oh, uh, do we oh, really have to I do... The local mud baron has a yeah. Reputation in these parts. So we got to win the lucky charm back off the, uh, the pig guy by playing go fish again. Okay. Ugh. I mean, is there, yeah, I should have found out if there's a way to cheat at this or something. It's just a, Can we get up here yet? Uh, apparently we can't. Alright. That door is... Okay, so I guess we ask about the, um... DB Wacker. And he might... Can I actually do it from here, or do I have to go into his dialogue? What do you know about Captain Drydock and his missing lucky charm? <laughs> Pearl Sap lost it in a particularly intense game of Go Fish. Oh, really? So this is the lucky charm, then? Hmm, <laughs> yes. And I won't give it up easily. And you know that Go Fish is my game. Alright. Um, I guess we'll... bet some trinkets and play, play the play stupid game. Trinkets? Place your trinkets on the table and we'll get started. Yeah. Give me some Got kings any? while you're at it. Kings? Excellent. Card. Thank you so much. I've always been lucky when it comes to go fish. I win. Oh, we have finally got the stupid All bloody right. charm. No, you won the captain's lucky charm back. Ask yourself, sir. If the charm is so lucky, why did I lose it? Because I'm a superior go fish player. That's why. <laughs> Gads, I like you, sir. Whenever you want to play go fish again with a go fish playing pig, I'm ready and waiting. No, I, I, I genuinely wish I had a gadget that would set you on fire. Just, yeah. Freaky ass pig. Right, let's let's organize a fucking boat trip, shall we? Go, go to the stupid island. And I just, I like the whole thing of the jacket inventory, because it kind of implies like I'm flashing people. So, Captain Drydock, Showing them my... I just had an interesting... <laughs> I don't know what fox penises are like. I'm, I'm presuming they're fairly normal. Cantina, and you'll never guess what happened. He cheated and ended up winning your lucky charm. No, actually, he lost, and I won this. <laughs> boy, 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 boy. My lucky charm, you found I it. look at this lucky charm. The same way I look at green women. I can go out on the sea again. The curse is lifted. Thank you. Thank you. Charmed, I'm sure. Listen, uh, matey, if you ever need... I was reading up on that, too. Enterprise. Apparently the reason Just Shatner talked I'll like that for Star Trek was because um, they literally rewrote pretty much all the script and stuff, like, on the fly, and he could just never remember exactly what Five he was talking bucks. about. Don't forget, anytime you need a boat ride, just let 
me know. I think I have to You'll jump on the boat. Oh, that's terrible. Get on the boat. Captain Get on the boat, Spy Fox. See, can you? Even when it calls, collect. Let me grab my map, and you can show me where you'd like to go. Right, so it was latitude 25, longitude 10, so about here. Well, this looks like an ideal place to explore. Alright, keep going. Could you take me to this part of the ocean? No, it was mm, 10. This looks interesting. Oh, do we just leave? Alrighty then. We're on our way. I'll just keep the map here in case we need it later. Interesting. A pool of white water. I've never seen white water like this before. Mmm, fishy. It's got a fishy smell. Wait ah, a ah, I've, I, I've tasted this milk. before. And none too fresh, ah. I might add. <laughs> mm, it sounds just like a seashell out here. Um, sounds like, yeah. I need to find the source of this milk. But I can't just jump in the water with my tux on. It's strictly dry clean only. Oh, is this where the frog suit comes into it? Now I'm a lean, green swimming machine. You're kidding. This, this, this is what we're meant to be doing. Uh, yes, okay. The underwater splendor of the Mediterranean. Yeah, I, I must admit I do get a little annoyed when, you know, puzzle games don't follow logic. But anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm actually have a bit of frogophobia. Oh well, a fishing line like this could come in handy. Oh, oh we meant to use it to actually take the grating off here. I suppose not. Aha, that pipe must be where all the milk is coming from. What a terrible waste! I have to put a stop to this. Huh, okay. Don't do the, something with the other fishing line. <laughs> yes, these worms are definitely frogophobic. We tie the lines together? No, okay. I was going to make a joke about fishing, but I couldn't think of a good line. No Terrible. doubt about it, this is one of William the Kid's demented pipe dreams. Alright, um, as we follow the pipe. Oh, that's a cool little contraption. Okay. Hmm, can we just... Oh, do we have to avoid these things? <laughs> the fucking thing has just been bedded over there, isn't it? Crash plane or something. Look at this dopey boy. Oh, is... Is that implying that we can't hear him because he's underwater? Whatever that fucking noise is, is cacophonous, so. though. Oh! You. Your trap we do have to avoid water. these, okay. You're mine, intruder. Guess again, Tim Tuna. Good chunk. Okay. So maybe we can, um... Can we take the line across to the so other addictive. area? One little nibble and you're hooked. Hmm. I can't go now. It looks like the other guard is coming back. I should wait until the guard can't see me. Aha! Yeah, that's one way Here of doing goes. it. It's the dreaded Rear Admiral, also known as Spy Maneuver Number <laughs> what? 21. What? <laughs> can't say that in a kid's game. Can't do that in a kid's game either. Okay. That fisherman will have quite a fish story to tell. Oh, we got to do it to both of them, presumably? Okay. I'll take this other line then. Fishing is so addictive. One little nibble and you're hooked. All right, I'll just wait till he's do the same thing again, I suppose. I should wait until the guard can't see me. All right, go now. Same again. Also, let's use the same cutscene twice. I of an underwater wedgie, but I've run out of options. Excuse me. Dad. Okay. Okay. Ting, apparently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that implies that, like, this bulldog's on the other boat as well. Hmm. Okay. Well, can we... No, we can't... Oh. Follow the pipe, I guess. Oh, a couple of different things here. <laughs> the band-aid on the fucking door, though. Uh-oh. This steel <clears throat> door looks pretty thick. And I already used my laser toothbrush. I'll have to find another way in. Hmm. Okay. What's in the... A box of old airplane fuses. I'd hate to refuse a find like this. Oh, dear. Ugh. Airplane fuses. Oh, I guess we put the fuses in back the in this thing. missing. Maybe the pilot used it as a flotation device. Okay. Oh, what am I meant to be doing here? Here's the jet's fuse panel. Oh. And there are some missing pieces. Okay, hang on. <coughs> um, well, you put our fuses in, I suppose. These spare fuses must fit into the panel, but where? Yeah, that is a good question, actually. Oh, okay. So you're going black to red on the wires, I suppose? Don't have to rotate them or anything? Okay, um... Yeah, alright. This is interesting. No, that doesn't fit either. <coughs> a little bit of troll and error figuring these ones out, too. Um... Yeah, that seems to work. Wants to fit in. Okay. Um, no. I'll find one with two red ones in the corner. Yep. Yeah. What was this one? <coughs> hmm. Um. No, it's got to be red and a black in the corner. Yep. Yeah, okay. And this one's. Oh god, hang on. Um. Sorry about that. Now the background music's actually kind of reminding me of... Um, not this song, the one before it reminds me of... Um, the Adventures of Kosuke Kindaichi. Still a good album, that one. And yeah, sorry, the nicotine gums. Set in my throat. Um, no, okay. This one? No. Probably. No, not that one either. Okay. Um, but, but, no, not that, not that. Mm, not that, not that. What about this one? No. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Sorry, um... Hmm. Have I just gotten these around the wrong way? Hmm. I don't know if I've gotten these around the wrong way or not. This one needs... No, hmm. Let's go on red to black. Can I? Doesn't seem like I can put these back in the right. Oh. No, that one's not right. Hang on. That. No, okay, that one just didn't look quite right, did it? Okay, so. Two reds on top. This one? No, that one's wrong too. Hmm. This one to go into this last one. Hmm. Okay. No, we're all going red to black. Is that it? No, that's not right either. <clears throat> ah, um, how the hell does that I'm work? I'm going to come back to this confusing fuse panel later. I'll leave the spare fuses here.
This looks like the missile fire button. Now I can do some damage to that door. Something seems broken, though. Yeah. <clears throat> Have I just put... Oh, maybe I've put a fuse in the wrong spot. Well, these look all right. Red, red. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Hang on. Red, red. Black, black. This one's wrong. Okay, I think this is meant to go... Yeah, there we go. I had one the wrong way around. Um... Yeah, that looks right. Let's try that. The missile seems to be refusing to fire. No, I keep goofing them up. No, this is actually just genuinely... Genuinely confusing. No, that's going the wrong way too. Um... Black. Try that. This is the missile fire button, but it's not getting any power. Oh, the... Uh, okay, okay, I'll check the... So, red, 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 black. Yeah, black. Oh, my God, I'm good. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll figure it out. All right, black, black, red, 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 black, 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 red, red. Red, 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 black, 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 black. This one's wrong. Is it? No, hang on, black, black, red, red. Red, red, black, 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 red, 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 black, 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 red. This one's different. Um, black, black. No, that one's not quite right. Ugh. There we go. This will teach him for not leaving a key under the welcome mat. Ugh. Took longer than it should have. Yeah, because we're getting on like two hours with this game now. We're going to have to um, cut it down a little bit. Of course, I planned that. I love a dramatic pause before blowing up giant steel doors leading to secret fortresses. No, ah, that's, that's a good thing to like, actually. Let's head in. I've discovered the entrance to William the Kid's secret fortress. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Hello, monkey. What's up? Spy Fox, if I've told you once, I've told you a million times. It's Monkey Penny. Sorry. What do you want? I'm busy saving the world right now. Our informant, Mata Harry, has some important information for you. Where can I find Mata Harry? I'm not sure. All she said is that she's underwater and you'll treasure her disguise. Okay, I'll check it out. Spy Fox. Out. Okay, so I gotta leave and go back to that treasure chest, I suppose. <coughs> huh? The boat will sink at midnight. It looks like it already sunk to me. That's not the correct code phrase. I know, but it's the truth. Agent Fox, oh it's good to be working with you again. Mata Harry, what a fortunate surprise. What invaluable information nugget do you have for me? I Show think it's the disconnector of the ghost thing, but I don't know what it is. It looks like it fits into some larger component. Can you use it? Are you kidding? I'll treasure this. Well, I gotta go. Go fishing, Agent Fox. Thanks for always sticking your neck out for me, Mata. You're a gem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I, I normally love my dad jokes, but they, they hit me a little hard and fast for this game. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Anyway. Um, so what can we do? I, I'm presuming we use our little thing on Welcome the thing. Welcome to William the Kid's secret volcano fortress. Please insert the electronic code box and answer today's passcode phrase. Hmm. Oh, okay. The spy wanted to counter the remark with intelligence? That is not a valid response. Have a nice day. Answering that code phrase looks like it might end up being punishing. Oh dear. Alright, I'll chuck this thing in. <laughs> looks like Slap the it electronic on. code box plugs into the panel of this voice-activated security system. Welcome to William the Kid's secret volcano fortress. Oh, okay. Um, January the 2nd. Um, we figured out what day it was, though? 
Guess we can break force it. The composer wondered if her symphony was noteworthy. That is not a valid response. Huh. I don't have the correct date. I need to know today's date. It's not quite as easy as it sounds, considering all the time zones I fly through. Hmm. The tailor sewed what had been reaped. That is not a valid response. Okay. Yeah, it definitely the said the 2nd of January in job. the um, that is not thing a valid I... Response. So I'm just going to... The window cleaner just wondering if it... Um, that is we not can a valid brute force response. or not. The fish shop owner had a selfish attitude. That is not a valid response. Are we going to break this thing just with puns? The okay. magazine editor periodically wrote some articles. That is not a valid response. The pillow maker liked to lay down on the job. That is not a valid response. <laughs> You're gonna get it. It's probably like fucking Sunday or something, isn't it? It's always jokes. the last one you try. This is correct. Oh, you no, Sunday. Now okay. Fortress at will. Have an <coughs> even better day. Thank you. What a polite voice box. Hmm. Yeah, I, guess, I wish customer service was that good these days. I'd better let Monkey Penny know I made it inside Kid's Secret Fortress. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox, I'm glad you checked in. How's it going? Smooth. As smooth as sandpaper underpants. I just got into Kid's Secret Fortress. Excellent. Now you've got to disarm that milky weapon of destruction. I'm in there like swimwear. Spy Fox out. Alright. I'm actually gonna save. Just... Oh no, I gotta do it in the game. Okay. I'll save because I did Wait. hear something about some of these games actually have multiple endings. Um... See how we go, though. Hmm, always something good in a locker room. Interesting. This looks like some sort of locker room for kids' evil minions. Huh. It's a secret passageway. Oh. Okay. Ah, brings you out at the uh, thing. What okay. a clever secret entrance. William the Kid can go from the town square to his secret fortress anytime he wants. Hmm, and now so can I. Romaggio. Oh, right. Italian for the big cheese. How droll. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is actually meant to be a... Just an Easter egg thing? Okay. Let's have a look at the paintings. Huh. Excuse you. Oh, and they just all go off at the same time. Okay. This is all we we're after, though? Just the shortcut? Okay. There's more to do in the um, fortress, clearly. Yeah. Alright, let's see what we can fiddle with in here. Oh. A yellow jumpsuit. I'll bet this is the official Nectar of the Ghost uniform. Um. No one would recognize me in one of these. Alright, so we got a disguise. Beautiful. Um, what else do we need to do? Ooh, it's a lot of milk. Ooh, ring? Oh, I wanted that ring. Oh, okay. Too bad caviar is made of fish eggs. Otherwise, it would be really good. Bah. Okay, that's a little disturbing. This hmm. Nectar of the Goat's jumpsuit might be just the thing I need to get the jump on William the Kid. Yeah, kind of makes me look like uh, Bruce Lee in Game of Death as well. Alright, I'll head up to the fortress. Uh-oh, someone's coming. I'd better hide. Ah. <laughs> so that's it's the like, yeah, that William denotes the like that walking animations. So up about. Russian blue. Take this key wallet and put it back where it belongs. <clears throat> it contains the disarm key.
the only thing that can stop my milky weapon of destruction. Right away, your Imperial goat me. I've deposited the money in your bank account. Thanks for all your help. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Call me anytime. Okay, anytime. I'll see you later. I need to get my hands on that key he mentioned. <coughs> okay, so I guess we... Does this take us straight back to the boat? Oh! Okay, no. be where William the Kid keeps his controls for the milky weapon of destruction. I should let Monkey Penny know I've made it here. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox, good to hear from you. What's up? I'm in William the Kid's control room. The launching panel for the milky weapon of destruction is right here. Great. Now, all you have to do is find the missing key and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Right. That shouldn't be too difficult. Spy Fox out. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm going to get the key. What is, what is this Maybe actually way back? Maybe I can use conveyor belt to get up to that platform. <coughs> oh, i got to put the conveyor belt the right way there. Okay. Um, hmm. This looks exactly like that diagram over in the locker room. Now I need to move these levers to the positions shown in the diagram. Oh, okay. Well, I've actually got to go back and check that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so left, left, I've right, up, down. To take this jumpsuit off. I well, don't take it off. This belonged to had fleas. All right. This uniform is a fashion nightmare. I should leave them the name of my tailor. Hmm. Alright. I wonder if it gates you off if you don't come up here with the jumpsuit on, eh? If I don't remember the diagram, I can always go back to the locker room to check it again. Yeah, it's it even that. Yeah, that's literally what it was meant to be. Perfect. Alright. Up we go. <clears throat> And this must be some sort of tram to take people around in Kid's Fortress. <laughs> Goat milk. It looks like a billboard. Yeah, now that's a little disappointing not having milk to go with sweets. I always feel like it after cookies or cake. Hmm. No one else would have meant to be doing it this bit though. Doesn't seem to be like. Oh, maybe there's something there we can... Is this where we were before? No, okay. Fellow, fellow henchman. <clears throat> oh, um, there seems to be Here's three three henchmen here. Gadgets. Let's uh, see if this there's works. one sound the ear can hear better than any other. The sound of falling money. They should get a tickle from this nickel. Hmm, okay. What? Oh, so they all reach for the money at the same time and then the trap activates. Right. -o. You have activated my trap coin. There goes Ting. <laughs> really getting sweaty over this though. It's like 25 cents, man. It doesn't really get you much. One way of doing it, though. What happened? We're trapped. He tricked us. This isn't good at all. Let us do Oh, please. I, I wish oh, I could kill you. I'm on a mission. That, that is an, an annoying voice. Jesus Christ. Anyway. Oh, this is all a... Maybe... Uh, well, this obviously leads to... What's his face? Um, hang on. I'll save again. Because this might net me a bad ending if I just walk in there. Um, let's see how we go. Because obviously I have to disarm the rocket as well. Oh, this must be Kid's secret volcano office. I should take a look around. Hmm. Oh, we get to do some drawing as well. Okay. Um. 
Yeah, right. Eh? Hang on. add much of that just do my face yeah let's oh you can st start a new one all right no. all right we gotta we gotta finish this game we can't fuck the around too much is protected by these dangerous lasers let's see the red laser connects with the red socket and the blue laser connects to the blue socket i wonder if moving these mirrors will redirect the lasers hmm okay Oh, can we like that blue laser is giving me the blues. I'd happily grab that key if that red laser wouldn't burn a hole in my hand. Okay, so we can just move the just pick whatever we want to change the things. Okay. Um Well that seems straightforward, so nothing there. No, hang on, that's gone blue to blue, red to red already, isn't it? Um maybe we have to move it out of the way so we can put our hand through. Well, let's try that. Whoops. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. Um. Whoops. Yeah, okay. If I don't redirect that blue laser, I'll never get my hands on that key. As long as that red laser is still over the key, I won't... Oh, okay, so we just got to get rid of them from the center. Can we take mirrors out? Doesn't look like we can. We can just direct this like straight down. Whoops. No, that apparently doesn't work either. Okay. The red laser isn't right. Yeah, it just keeps resetting on us. Um. Whoops. Okay, that doesn't work. Both lasers are wrong now. So we still we have to change these, but we have to have them going through. Ah, okay. Um. I have to keep them away from here, but also... What happened? Can we... The blue laser is still passing over the key. If I can't get that red laser redirected, I might as well file for unemployment. Yeah. So, hang on. No, uh, this is... Whoops. Oh, yeah, there's... Okay, I just realized it's showing me the direction they're meant to be going in. All right. That um, blue laser is giving me the blues. I'd happily grab that key if that red laser wouldn't burn a hole. I wish you'd stop talking. Um, that blue laser is giving me the blues. I'd happily grab that Yeah, I still have to like um wouldn't burn a hole in my hand. Hmm. Yeah, okay, okay. Um I would get him out of the way of the middle, so I could presumably send this down this way to block that and the other one the other way. And I have to do red one first. Um, but yeah, if I put it flat, it's just going to... Yeah, it just resets. Hmm, okay. Yeah, no, this is a little tricky. Okay. Um, hmm. Hey, no, this is a lot harder than the um, the other ones. This would damn sure. And it's got to, obviously got to be redirecting to somewhere else, isn't it? Okay. Um. <clears throat> the blue laser is still passing over the key. As long as that red laser is still over the key, I won't be able to snatch it away. Okay. The blue laser oh, no, is I... still passing. Yeah, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. No, that's not going to work either. I need... The blue, as long as... That blue... I'd happily grab that key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah, shame I don't have any other mirrors that way. Because, yeah, as soon as I goof it up from this point, it's just going to reset everything, too. Um... 
Oh no, hang on. I can put the red laser the there. Red yep. Laser, I'll never get my hands on that key. I'd happily grab that key if that red laser wouldn't burn a hole in my hand. Um, can I? This will redirect it to red. Yep. Still going through the middle way. Red laser wouldn't burn a hole in my hand. <coughs> hmm. <coughs> we want to go. Oh, hang on. We can. This one can go straight. Yep. Redirect that blue laser. I'll never get my hands on that key. And then. Can I seriously just go straight down from here? The blue laser is still I think I can. That is a yeah, beautiful. Now I can grab the key wallet. Oh, that was actually a lot easier than I thought it'd be. I did it! I got the key. Now all I have to do is find that control panel. And so, why was it in the safe if um, what's her face? Uh, Midnight Blue had it. I thought she had the key on her. Oh. We'll go and disarm this milk rocket, I guess. And I think, yeah, that was actually where I was meant to be. We'll head down from here. <laughs> um, and where are we going? Yeah, it's right through here. Alright, I use the key. Now, which key should I use? Oh, crap. Um, how am I supposed to remember that? Alright, I guess I'm saving again. What? Can I have a... Of course. Ah. I can't disarm the milky weapon of destruction until I put the key into this control panel. Alright, I guess I'll pick a key, any key. I don't really... No real clue to actually I think I'll try another tell me key, what. But which one? Yeah, okay, just trial and error, it, I guess. I hope this is the right key. Oh, it was the first one I tried. Really? Okay. <laughs> rockets, <laughs> rockets, just cream pied. <laughs> Why are there beavers here? Oh. Once again, I've saved the world from a horrible, or in this case, smelly, fate. Now I need to go get that goat. Not so fast, my crafty friend. You may think you have outfoxed me by disarming my milky weapon of destruction. But I'm afraid it's too late to save your precious cows. It's over, Billy. Give yourself up. Don't ever call me Billy. It's William. And it's not over yet, my foxy nemesis. When I pull this lovely lever, the cow's stables will become completely flooded with milk. And that will be the end of the dairy world as we know. Oh, yeah, that was, wasn't that part of the plan, though? Oh, no, we got to save the cows in... The Oh, I'm confused. I don't know what's going on. That's the most despicable thing I've ever seen. We <laughs> <laughs> just got to sit there doing nothing. <laughs> Are you autistic as well, Fi Spy Fox? <coughs> don't seem to be reacting to this much. This is really rich. Kid, you're kidding yourself if you think I'm going to let you get away with this. It's too late. And no. If you'll excuse me, Mr. Fox, I have a flight to catch on my giant metallic getaway. Oh, so did we end up getting the bad ending? My plan to take over the world, filling oh, bad boy kid standards, I guess. Delicious. You must be insane. Insane, you say? You're the crazy one. If you think you can save the cows. Adios, Mr. Fox. And good luck finding this secret passageway to the stables. You'll need it. Why did he just get stuck in the door? I hope that's not his knob. Thanks for leaving a little clue, kid. Now all I have to do is find that ascot. 
Oh, oh it's his ascot. Okay. <laughs> his ascot caught in the door. <laughs> Alright. That should be up here somewhere, I guess. I'm gonna I'm gonna buck the train and go this way. Oh what? Ah, oh, there it is. That's kid's ascot. This must be the secret passageway. So why didn't the, the um kid is holding the crown? Why didn't the poster show up on the thing? Oh, what are we doing now? Those empty to go containers look strangely familiar. Uh, do I have a gadget to get across here? Here's where I keep my spy gadget. Night vision shoes. We didn't even use these two items either. This should be easy. Ah, alligators. Okay. Uh -oh. Avoid that. I can't swim past these alligators. They're looking at me like I'm bait. <laughs> they look like they have permanent troll faces, though. Um, you got any ideas, Monkey Penny? You stand by. Spy Fox, have you caught William the Kid yet? No. I ran into some alligators who want to have me for dinner. How nice of them. Tell them that you're too busy to accept their invitation. That was not helpful in the slightest. Oh, so what are the... Oh, oh, they've been eating the chicken knuckles. So do I seriously have to go back and buy some chicken knuckles? Um. Alligator. They look hungry, too. I hope they don't like fox meat. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll be, I'll be coming back. Um, so how do I get back to the camp? Oh, no, there was a little secret way through the office, wasn't there? Which was... No, no, that wasn't. That was back to his uh, office to get the key thing. Do we have to go, like, right back to the, um... Yeah, where was the entrance? It was back out this way. So there was a shortcut to get back to... That was to the locker room. And this gets me back out... That's back underwater. Where was the shortcut to the... Oh, no, it was in the locker room itself, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. I'm back to the locker room. He's going to take off the jumpsuit again. Now Let's skip all this. Uniform. Blah, 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 blah. Just get in uh, the secret entrance. Yeah, we'll speed run this now. We're kind of running out of time. Oh, crap. No, I didn't want to go back to headquarters. To the cantina. It's only Jim. Um... What can you tell me about that slick-looking lounge lizard over there? Him? Oh, that's Johnny Gecko. He wants to be the next Liberace of tango music. If only he had that kind of talent. Secret song. Okay, Make so we need this for the alligators. alligators. Do I have to order the chicken knuckles? I didn't know chickens have knuckles, B. You've obviously never been hit square in the jaw by a ticked-off chicken from Kentucky. Can you... Oh, maybe I have to buy it. For a spy on the go, I recommend the chicken knuckles. Okay. It's your funeral, honey. Ugh. <laughs> These chicken knuckles also have pubes on them. Right. Ugh. <laughs> Let me put this in my bare tits. Um, alright, so we've got chicken knuckles. Secret sauce. Yeah, all right, all right. Use chicken knuckles on secret sauce, I guess. There we go. It says secret sauce. Do I dare be? You tell me, spy guy. <laughs> What's it look like motor oil? Anyway, all right. So that should get us past the alligators. I oh, yeah, speed running. Skip all this shit. Yeah, we, yeah, we get it. We get it. Um. Don't, I don't even need the... Oh, he's going to put the jumpsuit back on anyway. Okay. Um, yep, up here. Beautiful. Back through the secret entrance. What's up, boys? Want some chicken knuckles? That's not going to do me any good. 
All right, let's see how the chicken knuckles seasoned with secret sauce affect the gators. Ah. I actually like this shit. Okay. They all simultaneously fall asleep. Hey, the secret sauce is putting them to sleep. Um, they're probably gonna and drown. They can't the breathe later, underwater. No. Oh. <laughs> See you later, dead alligators. The kidnapped dairy cows. I've found them. Hang on, everyone. My name is Spy Fox, and I'll rescue you shortly. Continue treading milk, and I'll be right there. <laughs> so, they're so pooping in that milk. Load. Alright, um... I hereby declare you free-range cow. Mm. Oh. Versed. <laughs> Alright, we apparently saved the cows. Oh, what the hell is that? You think you won, spy fox. But you're wrong. Go ahead, free the cow. But I'll be back to milk the world yet again. <laughs> you can milk me if you want. It's been a while. Not so fast, kid. The last thing the world needs is another escaped ghost. Oh, 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 that's terrible. All right. You have a nice. This is how we're going to catch him, though. Hopefully we don't have to finish on the like a... Oh, okay, this is a cutscene. I was just worried we had to do like a... Just ahead. Oh. Hang on, click on... Yeah, up the ramp. There you go. This'll eject me right onto Kid's Blimp. Good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now that was an entrance. I'd better check in with Monkey Penny. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Monkey like, Penny, I've been up some weird shit at the moment. Have you found I've been doing a lot of weird yet? stuff. I'm on his escape blimp now. Professor Quack says he can see you on the radar. Spy Fox, you can't let William the Kid get away. But what about the sequel? There are other supervillains out there. We'll be fine. That's true. What should I do when I nab him? We've already set up a mobile evil villain jail. Monkey Penny, do you have the coordinates for the evil villain jail? Yes. The coordinates are 16 degrees north, 8 degrees west. You need to fly the blimp over it. I'll transmit the coordinates to the spy watch in case you need to look at them again. Now I need to maneuver the ghastly blimp to that location. I'll get that dastardly villain. Okay, 16 north, 8 west. Right, eh? What's in the plane, though? <laughs> This reminds me of my high-flying days in the Spy Air Corps. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, uh, there's apparently a ladder over there, too. Okay. That Can I get to that? Entrance to the front of Kid's diabolical blimp. Oh, we can just fly over there? Okay. <laughs> this seems highly dangerous. It really does. I don't have control at the moment. So who's... Oh, I got there eventually. Okay. Ah, okay. We gotta be this sneaky, be Charlie. Room for kids diabolical getaway blimp. Hmm. Okay. Um. Oh, can we just like sneak up and punch some coordinates in the back of his head? A navigation panel. Now I can use the coordinates Monkey Penny sent me via the spy watch to maneuver this dastardly contraption oh, over the uh, evil. You know, purposely day. crashing and planes against the law. How are you, matey? So I only just saw you in chat. No, it's yeah, it's been quiet today. Um, so where do we go? Eighteen no, eight west. And then eleven north, I think. Alright, just wake up. No, it was 16 north, wasn't it? There we go. Alright. 
Now oh. I just need to find a way to get Kid out of this blimp and into Evil Villain Jail. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, eager that to know how that's gonna box. work out. He thinks he's so smart. We'll oh, I guess we can manipulate his chair box. from the um, the thing. Oh. Aha! The ejection seat controls must be here. I can finally throw Kid into Evil Villain Jail. Oh, sweet. All right. Um. Yeah, you came here at the right time too, mate. Um, the next game we're on to is the one with um, Gold Cart. I just gotta knock over this one. This one's actually been a little bit harder than um, your average humongous game. That's where the ejection seat controls are. I need to get inside that. I need a screwdriver to open this panel. Oh, I apparently. Oh, I I need T a T shaped There's screwdriver. Only one way to get to okay. the ejector seat controls. And it's by getting inside that panel. Can't wait for like some Ducat. E exactly. Ducat did nothing wrong. Um, Alright. So this I guess this is why we'll go back, back down. The blimp. Need to go back to the blimp. I can't breathe. Oh, is that seemed easy. What do we have? A sandwich? Looks yeah. Like someone didn't finish their lunch. Well, you never know when you might need a piece of stale rye bread. It's just... Don't pick up random stale pieces of bread. An electric screwdriver set. This could come in handy. You never know when you might need to drive some screws somewhere. That's... Okay. Um... Nothing else I can really click on in here. Alright. Hopefully the um, screwdriver will work. I was double checking on that too because apparently um, a lot of the Spy Fox games have uh, more than one ending. Oh, okay. Just pick the T-shaped one. That did the trick. Hmm. What oh. An interesting device. It oh, like that's how it activates the thing. Okay. Cafeteria. This this is a very convoluted contraption, but a piece why of not? Bread might do the trick. Okay. This is how we're going to launch him into jail. This, just, this seems so stupid. My trap is set. I better. I mean, it's a little better than we we got stuck for about half an hour playing um. What's going Go on? fish with a pig, the essentially. Is changing course. Sorry, kid. I have a little errand I need to run. Hmm? What? Spy fox? I'm really. Tired of your meddling in my dairy domination plans. Yes, well, I do have a tendency to show up and ruin evil villains' schemes. I just thought I'd toast your accomplishment. Before oh, you go. Oh. <laughs> and the puns have been killing me. They, they're worse than usual. Oh, what do you mean by that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is one infected uvula. Oof. Too bad there was only one parachute. Ooh, that looked painful. I <laughs> He's probably be dead, Spot Fox. I know it's a cartoon, but on, some some away. rules of physics apply. Oh, that toilet is grotty, by the way. Spy Fox. I guess this was the gold ending. Yes, he is indeed in jail. Fox. <laughs> You'll pay for this. I'll be back. No jail can hold William the Kid. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> Day one. Doesn't matter if they're dead. You got him in the building. Yeah. Yeah. I, maybe this was the right ending. I'm just Later looking that, that up day. now. Walter Wireless here with our top story. Spy Fox has saved the dairy starved nations of the world from a near disastrous milk shortage. Today at the Capitol, the president is honoring Spy Fox as the nation's new hero. We now go live to the presidential press room where the ceremony is already in progress. For outstanding heroism and suaveness in the face of utter dairy chaos and for bringing the nefarious William the Kid to justice, I award you, Spy Fox, our nation's highest honor. May I present you with the big daddy oh. congressional cookie of justice. Why, thank you, Mr. President. It was a routine mission, really. Three cheers for Spy Fox. 
Oh, okay, apparently I got it. Apparently ejecting him into the right spot was the bonus ending. Alright. Fair enough. Well, that's good. We at least 100%ed it. Um, yeah. First go. I mean, as a kid's game, it shouldn't have been too hard to do that, but... Okay, I can see why people don't like the game. Like, yeah, we got stuck on the the go fish puzzle thing. There's a little bit of bullshit in there, but presentation wise, it was pretty good. It was a little more difficult than your average humongous game. Yeah, it's, a, it's got some ups and downs. And yeah, like the start, you, you'll have to go back and watch the YouTube for the start bit because the, um, the pelican with the strange tattoos was... <laughs> It kind of topped it actually. I should probably put that, cut it out and say, yeah, put it at this point in the video just to show off the best thing last instead of having it right off the start. Right at the, yeah, right at the start of it. But, ah, Firefox. Oh, they're spoofing the whole James Bond intro, outro kind of thing. Yeah. I'm going to say it like, yeah. It's, it's got to have some sort of sweetness to it, but I can tolerate dry cereal. I usually get like wheat bix bites and there's a little bit of fruit in there. So just, yeah, I couldn't sit there and graze on something that was 100% like just wheat. Some sort of, some sort of, like I couldn't just bite into a wheat bix or something like that. You have, have to have something. I'm just having a look at, um, I, I'm kind of keen to see the uh, voice actors. If it's anyone I, I know. I would have gotten away with my evil plan if it weren't for that pesky spy fox. Well, now you're in jail. Yeah, that was that was the plan essentially. Just sort of crushed Weepix challenge trend. Yeah. <laughs> Mix it with like cinnamon or something just to keep it relevant. Okay, no, Ron Gilbert did work on this one. I can't remember when Ron Gilbert left Humongous Games. I think it was sort of after the, um, at least after the 2000s. So who we got? Bob Zank is Fly Fox. And I don't know anyone else. Okay, that's fair enough. That, that's kind of been the trend for these games. Like, the only famous person they really got was, um, was it Pamela Adlin, who did Bobby Hill and King of the Hill as Pajama Sam. And they didn't even get it for every game. We'd like to thank the residents of Acidophilus for their kindness and generosity. No animals were mistreated or harmed in any way during the production of Spy Fox and Dry Cereal, although quite a few were milked. Oh, dedicated to Brett Barnett. Okay. Well, that was, yeah, that was fun. I enjoyed that. I'm watching Death Sandals video, by the way. That's that's who the, the person is. So if you want to watch a full playthrough, Death, Death Sandals.